Let's uh, create another resistor using the same 1N5158 Shockley diode that we had before. So we have VCC, a resistor, and we can use the RC time constant that we had in the past. We had our Shockley diode. So this one's 2k ohm and this one is 0 0.02 microfarad. So if we look at this we have uh, turn on the power. The Okay, we have voltage across the diode or V out. So this is V out. Um, when you first initially turn this on, voltage across the cap is zero. It charges at an RC time constant. Let's see. In this case, um, R times C is equal to 2k ohms times 0 0.02 microfarad which equals approximately 20 or excuse me 40 microseconds now they're asking you in the question example 153 if the sawtooth wave is a period of approximately 20 percent of the time constant so uh, times 20 percent of the time constant um, of the RC time constant uh, is equal to 8 microseconds and 1 over 8 microseconds <laughs> is equal to 125 kilohertz Okay. So they set this thing up so that uh, this would reach 10 volts yes. um, in 8 microseconds. So the RC time constant is set up that way. So we'll get into the math on um, this time constant pretty soon. Uh, actually next. I just hate leaving this stone unturned. So what happens here, we'll do this really simply, 20%. Um, um, as time goes on, that cap charges. You remember it charges at a rate of 1 minus E over minus T over RC. But we'll deal with this the next uh, example. Um, Let's see, this thing charges from 0 to, and that's 10 volt breakover, so 10 volt. And when this diode gets 10 volts across it, all of a sudden it breaks over, becomes a short, brings this down to 0.7 volt, again a second approximation. And let's see, initially the current charges the cap, there is no current here. Um, when the diode breaks over, like so, the current from all this charge from the cap uh, uh, is shorted to ground through this diode. Um, probably need some kind of a current limiter here, but it's not in there. So all of a sudden this thing drops to 0 0.7 volts. Uh, when it gets down below the holding current, it turns off and the cap begins to charge again just like that it charges to 10 volts and the diode breaks over and it drops to 0.7 volts on however long a period of time it takes for this to charge 
for the gap to discharge through this device. And then if you have a current limiting resistor here you can come up with a discharge cycle like this and a charge cycle like that. So you can make this a triangle wave or a square wave or whatever you need. Um, let's deal next with this RC time constant, the 1 minus E over minus T over RC.